What do you get when you get a household with a sick bug? And two cats. And her balls. You get the picture? Let me tell you all about it in today's Coffee with Isa. Hi guys, Liz here, aka Isabel Sharin, aka Liz for Paris Adored, Bondi Babe, and all my bots. I think I think it's I think the time is coming soon that um when I do a coffee with Isa, I'm gonna log them all in and they can all sit with me and um, you can meet them all. Yeah, how weird would that be? Because a few of me look the same, you know. Yeah, we do, yeah. Because sometimes I um, film as my alts, just so that I can get filming done. Um, and I more or less look the same. Bondi Babe and I look the same. Um, although she's got a different AO. Anyhow, I ramble on. So, you want to know what happened on Friday? Well, I'm going to tell you about the week that I had. Ah, oh, the week that I had. If you watched Coffee last week, then you will know that I ended it on on the um, the premise that on the Monday morning I was going to have a fun afternoon when I came home from work with all the old biddies at the bus stop, and we were going to sort of like you know gang up on the the schoolies. <laughs> stop them pushing through anyhow none of that happened not one bit happened and sorry if there's noise around because I keep moving around because of the cats which I've got to explain to you in a minute um so none of that happened and I'll tell you why um as that went out on Monday I actually never made it to work um I had woken up in the early hours of Monday morning um not feeling quite right and I remember getting up thinking, whoa, I don't feel right. And then laying back down. And then thinking, okay, I'm just going to go back to sleep. Then my alarm went off at five. I got up, didn't feel right. The room is spinning a little bit, you know. Uh, got in the shower, washed my hair, thinking, whoa, I'm having a spin time. I felt like I was on drugs of sorts. Anyhow, got out of the shower run the towel through my hair then I thought mm, I can't be bothered going because I normally go back to bed for an hour once I've had a shower and then fall asleep again so what I did was I plaited my hair and um, wet hair and, and then climb back into bed and as I got him back to bed I thought oh no I don't feel right and you know in the mornings I'm gonna reveal something in the mornings most human beings love a fart don't they they love a fart there's nothing like a good fart first thing in the morning well I felt a bit rumbly so I thought I need a fart so I had a fart yeah wasn't quite just a fart you know that 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 um that saying followed through yeah um I followed through yeah and at the same time I threw up all over myself <laughs> so of you know five-ish in the morning there I was yeah yeah it's a pretty picture a pretty picture there I was having to um, run myself back into the bathroom um, throwing up no control over either end of my body <laughs> jumping in the shower washing myself I felt so disgusting I was covered in sick I was covered in you know and <laughs> just like oh well, what's happening to me so I clean myself up don't worry room was clean um and I <laughs> climb back into bed I'm like lying there having a sob because I'm like what's wrong with me I don't feel well so um I'm just lying there feeling sorry for myself and I thought oh, there's no way I can go to work like this there's no way I'm going to be able to get up so I set my clock um in case I fell asleep and I uh, woke up at about quarter to seven and texted my manager and said I'll ring you after eight 
um, I'm not well. Rang her just after eight. After, you know, bearing in mind I've been up and down a few times on the toilet and throwing up. Um, rang her after eight and I said, oh, I really won't be in at work today because I'm really unwell. I've just been, oh, what's wrong, Liz? Well, I've been up, throwing up and, you know, basically no control over my backside. And do you know what she said to me? I can't just say, oh, that isn't very good, is it, Liz? Oh, could you not? That's what that woman said to me. Oh, it isn't very good, is it, Liz? Is it snowing where you are? Who gives a bugger if it was snowing? <laughs> I didn't give, I didn't even know it was snowing. <laughs> Apparently it was, snow, it was snowing on Monday morning. I didn't see any of that. And I was just like, are you kidding me? You're insinuating that I'm taking a sick day because you think it's because of the snow. Oh my God, I was so indignant. I was so upset by that. Anyhow, I said, I'll bring you tomorrow. And I left. Um, then I went and threw up. Um, I threw up quite a few times actually. Um, went back to bed and I stayed in bed I was asleep till about 11 got up and thought this is hurting me lying on my back so I thought I'll sit in the living room with my sick bowl um, every time I drank water it made me sick so I didn't have any more water then I ended up sucking on icy poles word of advice if ever you're really ill and you feel like you can't stomach water just have a bare icy pole it's so much better to suck on an icy pole um, and you're still getting your fluids um, Anyhow, so I was like that all day Monday, and then, uh, honestly, it was awful. And then um, Tuesday was a little bit better, um, not throwing up, so, and just feeling sick but not throwing up. Um, so Wednesday I went back to work. Was a bit queasy on the bus, but, you know, I was all right. Thursday, right as rain, I was perfect Thursday. I was like, yay, oh, God, I'm feeling better. However, my son had come down with it, so he wasn't well. Um, but his was only 24 hours, um, so that was fine. By Friday, he's fine. Friday morning on my way to work, I'm like, no, I don't feel right. I really don't feel right. And in actual fact, I hadn't eaten all week um, because the thought of food had made me sick. Now, that's believe me, that's a rare moment because I like my food. I didn't even eat chocolate, which, seriously, I must be sick not to eat chocolate. So I go to work. Um, I didn't eat all day, I just couldn't bring myself to eat, did my work, didn't feel right, came home and it smelled of bleach and I said to myself, what the hell are you been cleaning? Are you, you, you've been cleaning? And he was like, no, um, that's carpet shampoo, I've been washing the floor because the cats have been throwing up, they've been throwing up fur balls and I went, no, they don't throw up fur balls together normally, Josh. And they, um, yeah, yeah, there was different spots wet where they'd been but I give my son full credit because he knows the drill if the cats are sick because I've got cream carpet how to pick it up and you know wash the carpets and stuff so that's all great so I didn't think anything more of it until I went to the toilet about 7 30 um, that evening because I had I came home I never thought to go to the bathroom I didn't want to go to the bathroom um 7 30 there I am sitting on my shrine I look across and across from me in the bathroom is the cat litter because frankly that's where cat litter should belong in the bathroom where one goes to toilet. So I look across I'm thinking what the hell is in the cat litter? When I stuck my head in there it was absolutely full of diarrhea and I was like what? Oh my god! <laughs> so I had to clean out the cat litter tray and disinfect that and everything because I'm thinking what the hell's going on? Um, and I looked at them, and, they, and as soon as I cleaned it out, both of them went to the loo, and I was like, okay, you go, this guy's all right. They seemed all right. Then I was sitting down on my computer, so I, I decided to, I was logged on my computer, and uh, I was about to log into SL, and I was having a, a Facebook Messenger chat with Susie Anderton, and um, I stopped mid-flow of the conversation as my male cat Bondi came running past me, with a strong smell of shite yes and his tail wagging in the air and as if he flung it past my face and he covered me with it <laughs> and i was like Ugh. <laughs> so i didn't even, i just i ran and grabbed him in the bathroom he goes washing him underneath the shower he hates that um and then I had to go around bleaching everywhere and wiping everywhere because I'm so OCD about stuff like that. <sighs> what had happened, he'd obviously gone to the cat litter 
and he had you know like they do they do their thing they swing around they try and dig it in dig it in dig it in and he's obviously got his tail caught in it as so i was like oh my god <laughs> So, okay, we sorted that out. So there was a quite a few episodes of that on Friday evening. Went to bed Friday night and I thought, okay, they seem fine. I didn't feed them. I made sure that they didn't eat. Um, Bonner has medication anyhow. He's a um, HCM cat. So I gave him his medication as normal because he has to have that. And um, went to bed and I think it was about three in the morning. Meow, meow. Meow. That's all I heard. <laughs> That's him. Next to my head, I'm like, oh, for God's sake, he's he's on the floor next to my head, sort of standing up. And I'm like, go away. And then I thought, I thought, what's that? It smells like sulfur. And then I, it dawned on me. I was like, oh my God. Just put my lamp on, and there he was, covered in it. His paws and his tail. And he'd actually, bless him, he had actually tried to wake me up to tell me which honestly if anyone has rag dolls you know what i mean they are like little people they communicate with you um yeah i know i sound like the crazy cat lady but seriously i'm not um they do they they i mean the whole time i was sick they were like caring for me they were around me they were like meow next to me and stuff like that they're very sweet like that um but he was waking me up to tell me he's like mum I, I, I stink can you clean me <laughs> so i had to clean him at three in the morning um, lucky he didn't get it anywhere um, I looked and I thought my god he's walked in here and he hasn't actually got it on the carpet I was like really pleased um, but I've still gone and um, carpet shampooed this weekend because I can't cope with it <laughs> so I, I again had to clean him um, they've both been not right um, but uh, have been a lot better but the it's the oddest thing because um, you know we get sick and we don't stop and imagine that our pets might get it but apparently there are certain strains of things that they can get um and or, and we can get from them obviously because we get things from animals um and i know i didn't get this from the animals because they're indoor cats um they're solely indoor cats they don't mix with any other animals they don't actually go outside because of their ragdolls um and they um they're always very healthy apart from his hcm um but uh, quite a few people i know have been getting this virus it's not been very nice at all um and some people have developed into um really bad flu like symptoms with it afterwards so far touch wood touching wood um neither my son or i have done that but i just find it really weird how my two cats actually ended up sick as well <laughs> and I did I didn't have the little man come stay this weekend to visit me at all because obviously for this reason and it's like oh <laughs> it's just disgusting so oh if you can hear that noise that's my phone vibrating because I've got it on vibrate um so yeah that that was the week that was um yeah that was my week that was my weekend can't really tell you a whole lot more about it other than it was literally crap <laughs> lots of crap <laughs> oh, I'm glad I can laugh about it the best thing is that I actually do own a carpet shampooer so do you know what? when I bought this a couple of years ago I'd never actually used it until this weekend I'd never actually used the damn thing um, I bought it for the just in case because my carpet's always clean anyhow um, and it's like a no shoe policy and stuff like that in here but I'd never actually used it and it was like, a, oh my God, what a godsend to have. And it just, you know, I could just go around and, and clean all those. So I didn't go thorough. I just did all the walkways where they would go and stuff. And it just feels so much better. But um, yeah, literally this was, this should have been a quarantine department. <laughs> it's just like. Oh, uh, I keep going around spraying bleach everywhere. It's, it's terrible because I'm so paranoid. Um, I am a bit of a OCD kind of person at home. Um, everything is cream here. Everything's cream. My sofa's cream. My floor's cream. My walls are cream. So, yeah, I am a bit sort of OCD about stuff like that. Um, but especially 
um, for the cats because everything's very clean for the cats. You know, if anyone comes in with their shoes, I'm like, get your bloody shoes off. And it's not just for the carpet because I like to walk around bare feet and I, I don't want to walk on some someone's shit, basically, that they've walked in from the street. Um, and I nor do I want my cats to pick up anything because obviously they're indoor cats and so they could be susceptible to anything, um, which obviously they are because um, they got our bug. Um, yeah, totally weird experience. <laughs> it's very out of this world. And um, yeah, I hope it never happens again because it's not pleasant. And I don't know, any if any of you out there have rag dolls, have you ever experienced this? It's so bizarre. I've never experienced it where... Um, the animals get sick. I'm hoping we don't come down with flu or anything because I mean, you know, that would be the last thing I mean if that was transferable, I'd be really really worried um, Especially for Bondi because he's an HCM patient and um, He's doing really well. I mean he's on medication. He has medication every day and he's doing really well I mean, the, you know, he surpassed the lifespan that they gave him when I first found out oh he they foresaw him not living past 18 months two years of age he's now over four years old so um he's done really well and in actual fact every time he goes for a checkup that's the one thing the vet says is how amazed he is that he is he he behaves like a normal healthy cat everything about his heart rate everything is perfect it's spot on the only thing that would give it away is the fact that they've there's chest x-rays of his heart and his heart is very enlarged so um yeah what a surreal experience um they're not a hundred percent but we are getting there so they're getting a little bit they're, they're a lot better than they were believe me um am i better Hard to tell because I'm still a bit, yeah, it's weird, the weirdest bug. Um, and um, yeah, and one of my friends said to me that she's had it in her house and it's been awful. I said, oh, get your dog out because <laughs> that'd be the worst thing if the dog's got it. Because <laughs> they've got a big dog. Can you imagine that? Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, anyhow, I'm going to try and keep these a lot shorter because of the... Um, the changes to um, us YouTubers that are not reached a thousand subscribers with 4,000 views on honestly that topic does get to me um, because despite many people that have commented about a monetization oh it's not worth anything blah 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 well what would you know <laughs> it is partnership is worth something because it gives you the extended time for your videos past 15 minutes um, and I'm really conscious that I might probably be losing that which means that my videos will have to be 15 minutes and less um, and that doesn't work for me for Coffee with Isa because as we know it's 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 about sitting down and yakking away and um, you know whatever so uh, I'm gonna consciously in the next couple of weeks slowly reduce the time that I do on it and hey if YouTube allows it to continue after they take away the partnership on the 20th of February then fabulous but I need to try and acclimatize myself to talking less good god the only other thing I mean one of my friends came up with Maddie Wyatt she came up with a brilliant idea and she said record smaller recordings and so did Rosie Everyone's come up with this idea. I could record like five Coffee with Izzas in one day, so you'd have to watch one after the other. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> that, that would be ridiculous. The only other thing I did think about doing is I could start doing it every single day. I could have Monday, Monday tea and biscuits, Tuesday, coffee, Wednesday, a latte. <laughs> you see where I'm going? No, no, I kid you, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> as tempting as it is. Um, no, I, 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 I don't have all that time in the world and, and I guess you guys don't have all that patience either. I don't blame you. <laughs> It'll be just too much listening to Liz go on and on every day. It's best say for one day a week. <clears throat> Anyhow, I'm going to call it to a close. Yes, this is me trying to be really good. It's nearly 20 minutes, so I'm going to try and finish by 21 minutes. <laughs> okay, um, if you want to come back again and listen to me drivel on, as I always do, 
quite simple. All you have to do is click the subscribe button and click the bell and it will tell you when I'm on again. Um, in between coffee with Isa, um, Monday to Monday, there's all sorts of other stuff. You never know, you might like it. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye-bye.